curry chicken ready to make curry cabbage. You're going to need um, a head of cabbage or two or three heads of cabbage. You're going to need some olive oil and some curry powder. And um, a pot. First we're going to take the olive oil and pour it in the pot. Like so. Then I'm going to take the curry powder and just put it right on in there. Because what you got to do is basically going to cook the curry powder in the olive oil before you put the cabbage in it. So you're going to cut it on low and you're going to get a wooden spoon and kind of just stir it. Stir it in there. It's gonna cook. You don't want to cook it on high because you don't want to burn, burn it. You just want it to cook. And while it's cooking, you're gonna cut up your cabbage into bite-sized pieces, or you just pull it apart. Or I thought you even got some scissors you can cut the cabbage with. How would you break it apart? And then you're gonna rinse it in a colander. You're gonna get all the dead bugs and you know insects that lives in the leaves. Out. See how the powder has um, mixed in with the olive oil. You just wanted to cook on on the low, maybe between like four and five. Just let it cook for a little while before you put the cabbage inside. Make sure it's all stirred up nicely. This is gonna get a cabbage a nice, wonderful flavor. Basically, why it's steaming. That's how you cook the cabbage. You're gonna steam it really. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it's all going in your stomach anyway. Check the leaves for any black spots. You can even just rip it. If you don't feel like cutting. It's cooking, bubbling up a little bit. Just continue to stir it. You should smell it. It smells so good. Okay, once you wash the cabbage, get all the much water out as possible. You're gonna, what I do. I just grab a handful and just dip, throw it right on in there. Oh, no, no, no. Once it's in there, I'm going to add a little salt. And make sure you stir the cabbage. So um, you get the curry powder. It's at the bottom. You just put it to the top. See it right there on the cabbage. Now cabbage doesn't take that long to cook. So we have 13 minutes left on the hour for the chicken. And the cabbage probably takes about a half hour to cook. It depends on how crispy you want it. And you just continue to let it cook for maybe 30, 40 minutes. Like I said, it depends on how crispy you want it. And then it's done. You can put it over some rice. This is what we're going to do. Nice and done. So all we need now is some rice and we will have a meal. 
So thank you for watching.